The Pasuk in Koihelis says, Adam Yoyser Mena Behema Ayin. The Pasuk Shat, literally this means that in a physical sense, man has no superiority over an animal. Molecularly, we are the same, physiologically the same, even genetically, in many ways, we are the same as the animal. Comes along the Vilna Gon with a fascinating interpretation. Adam Yoser Mena Behema Ayin. There is a difference between an animal and a human being. And what is it? Ayin. Ayan means the ability to refrain, the power to abstain, to say no, to exert self-control. The morale teaches us that behema is a contraction of two words, ba ma. What is in it, it is. An animal is genetically pre-programmed. An animal can never rise above. An animal can never shield its eyes. An animal can never protect itself from seeing an image. We are Adam. Says the Maral, Adam comes the word Adame Le'elion, which means that we are exalted, we are divine, we can imitate, we can replicate, we can copy the most celestial, a neshama locus. We have a divine soul, and we will not compromise, we will not become behema. The Gemara in Kedush and Daftalad tells us that the letters Ayin, Aleph Yud Nun, can also mean with an ayin, ayin yud yud nun, which means to look, to see, to examine. And perhaps this is teaching us. Adam yosem and abahema, ayin, with an ayin. You know the difference between a human being and an animal? It's the eyes, it's the ayin. It's the ability to say, I won't use my eyes for bad. I understand that as a human being, as a divine person, Every image I take in makes an indelible imprint on my neshama that is infinite, that is everlasting, that is forever. And therefore I will proclaim to the world, Yosem and Abahima, I am not an animal, I am far greater. You want to know how? Ayin, I could see those images, but I won't look. I will abstain, I will refrain, I will preserve my Kedusha.